Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers, once said that the tree of liberty must from time to time be watered with the blood of tyrants. It sounds like he was, um, well, talking about violent revolution. So revolutions are a good thing, but violence Unnecessary. No. Hmm. I've been choosing my words very carefully here. Time to start over. So, my friend was arguing for violent revolution. I'm all for revolution, and I really, 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 really hope to see one quite soon, but not a violent one. I've been thinking over the last couple of days about, well, over the last couple of months I've been thinking about pacifism, and I thought that violence was wrong, and that's why pacifism is a good option, because violence is wrong. I've come to the decision that violence is not wrong. It's the absence of unanimous consent that's wrong. Um, look that up, the term unanimous consent. It's very... I might put a link. I'll put a link to it. Maybe Wikipedia has an article. But unanimous, unanimous consent is important. And... I think that if you want to have a revolution, you should have a revolution pretty much with unanimous consent, otherwise you will have violence. Now could that be possible? A revolution with unanimous consent? You would overthrow the current system. Would the current system want to be overthrown? It's highly unlikely. But I think that's something that you would need to achieve if you wanted to have a non-violent peaceful revolution. Anyway, if anyone sees this, give me your thoughts on revolution. Violent revolution, non-violent revolution. If you're intelligent and keep up with the modern world, Revolution is probably something that's crossed your lips several times. Just... It's a really... Just tricky subject. Remember that TJ quote? But don't believe it. 